Yo, what's up YouTube family? It's your boy Moneybag Cool back at you with another hot TikTok reaction video. Y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos just like this. Let's get it, baby. These higher ups know something about water that we don't. They literally use it to their advantage. Now there is two types of water. You have natural water, which is alive. Then you have purified water, which is non-living. Non-living water is just like soda. It's just a beverage. Living water can change your life. There was this experiment done with natural living water. And for 30 days, they told the jars one or two things. Either I hate you or I love you. The one that they said I hate you to obviously turned brown. The one they said I love you to stayed purified. Now living water holds memory and energy. Your body is made of 60 to 70% of water. All water does is adapt to the energies that surround it. So if you constantly surrounding yourself with low energy, for example, breaking news, social media, and toxic friends, the chemical structure of the water within your body will change to this side. And then if you have negative affirmations about yourself, like what's written on this mirror, that can do you bad. I'm saying this to say protect yourself. You're 70% water. It's a living substance which can die if it is treated poorly. Schauberger believed that water is born in the forest, it falls as rain, and it filters down from the rocks, gathering minerals and trace elements until arriving at the surface as a spring. At this point, water is full of mother substances ready to provide life. Its vitality depends on how it flows, or how it is forced to flow. Our systems for moving and processing water are designed from the point of view that water is merely a fluid, without life or energy. So we don't care how it's treated. We make water flow along straight channels, through cylindrical devices and other shapes that are never found in nature. We ignore water's natural path. Spiral patterns and arrangements are all around us in the forms of galaxies, cyclones, and tornadoes. These spirals are everywhere in nature, which has chosen these formations because they represent the law of constant change. If we want to create a system for moving water which allows it to remain vital and alive, we must provide the opportunity for water to breathe. Dr. Schauberger's research on water revitalization inspired the development of flow forms, which are a series of formed basins that allow water to flow into figure eight vertical movements, causing the water to pulsate rhythmically. The type of movement in flow forms simulates a mountain stream, energizing, restructuring, and oxygenating water. Flow forms mimic nature's flowing movement, plus simulate the heart rhythms, helping to refresh and reharmonize water. Vortical treatments of harmonic frequencies is an effective way to eliminate undesirable information remaining in water after removal of physical pollutants. Water makes a long... Water is one of the main elixirs of life. It's a very, very important reason why they try to control all of the water and a lot of the oxygen that we breathe. <laughs> The book called the hidden message the many the many hidden messages in water 
It's mind blowing. I don't know if any of you have ever read it. Mind blowing. And Dr. Emoto, just just one of the studies, you can even Google Dr. Emoto water studies. He, he took water from a water bottle, put it in a Petri dish, sent water from the same bottle, put it in another Petri dish, flash froze both of them. But on one of the Petri dishes, he wrote positive words. On the other one, he wrote negative words. The one he wrote the positive words on turned into these beautiful snowflake looking patterns. The ones he wrote negative words on turned into these gnarly looking, ugly, matted up patterns. Here's the question I asked at my training the last two days. As far as we know, can water read? No, not as far as we know. As far as we know, can water think? Well, not as far as we know. But yet, the words written on a container of water affect the molecular structure of the water. My body is 70% water. My brain is 90% water. And I can read, I can hear, and I can think. How could I possibly go through life and be so deceived as to think that words don't matter? That's why I don't use profanity. That's why I don't use negative talk. I don't do negative joke. I don't, negative, negative, negative. Every, most people, all, most of the stuff they do is negative. The cultural hypnotic societal mechanism is programming you to be negative because it knows if it can make you negative, it can make you broke, and broke people are easier to control than people who are. I heard this dude, this is no. <laughs> Water is powerful and water is spiritual, man, I'm telling you. I'm not saying they wrong, but hey, they just may be on to something. That's all I'm gonna say. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Of long pipes through thousands and thousands of houses and apartments. We pollute water spiritually. And this happens on a huge scale. Why? The water adopts all of the hatred, all of the malice, the stress. The water is almost dead by the time it enters our body. We subjected water to super weak magnetic field impulses. These fields are tens of thousands of times weaker than the Earth's natural magnetic field. Fish were introduced into water that was treated in this way, and the fish soon produced an unusual hatch of small fry. They differed radically from the other fish to which they were related, though they looked as much alike as twins. Gray stripes appear on the belly of all these males at once along with colored spots which had not been observed previously. These are called phenotype changes. If you look into the science of water, it is proven to hold energy. So I know we're, we're new friends, but as we hang out, you'll see me in social situations. If we're at a dinner table and people are speaking badly, negatively, I will not drink the water because water holds energy. And this is scientifically proven. No way. Yeah. Yeah. I will not because that's bad water. Okay. I, I will stay dehydrated. And so this, just what be, does the same go for food as well? Uh, well, it would be the water in food. Okay. So I'm, I've only studied the water molecules. Of course, there's water in food, but there's a lot more matter in there. So I would stick to just concentrating on pure water. Be conscious of what you're drinking because water is conscious. Water holds memory, it holds words, and this is all scientifically proven. This is Dr. Masaru Emoto. He proved water is affected by consciousness when he froze water with words written on the Petri dishes. I'm going to show you how powerful your words really are. These are some of his results showing the unique semantic pattern created by different words, sounds, and scenarios. Here's the patterns created by the word thank you spoken in different languages. Now I'm going to show you how sounds can affect matter and how music is being used as a weapon to control the mind and damage the body. This is the effect classical music has on your blood and consciousness. This is what happens to those who listen to heavy metal. In 1953 the tuning of instruments were changed from a natural harmonic resonance of 430 to hertz to 440 hertz which clearly isn't as harmonious it's time for some visual representations of matter being affected by sound this is the semantic display of the sanskrit chant om said to be the sound of creation itself water droplet vibrating 
guided by sound. So that's how you do and last frequency conductor and a energy conductor in my humble opinion some people that wouldn't know nothing about this or didn't know nothing about this like people from the past will probably say that this was magic watch this they always tell you the truth in these movies pay attention he goes to the water now he's going through a portal a wormhole and look where it leads him. Space. Now he's coming out. So if you go back and watch my previous video, I briefly mentioned that I think there's a very high possibility that space is water. And before y'all think I'm crazy, hear me out, let me explain. When the sun is out, the sky appears blue. When the sun shines into the water, it also appears blue. Then once the sun goes down, both the sky and the water appear like a dark blue to black color, right? I think the bottom of the ocean leads to space. The deeper you go in the ocean, the more it looks like space. You almost thought that was space, didn't you? Just like space, the deeper you go into the ocean, the darker it gets, the colder it gets, which in space that's confusing because the sun's supposed to be up there. So how is the sun beating us up and burning us up down here, but it's freezing in space? It makes no sense to me, but that's neither hither nor thither. But just like space, the deeper you go into the ocean, the more pressure there is as well. Hence why you need a sea suit. And look at the modern day sea suits. Looks very familiar, huh? It's just oddly similar to the space suit. Here we have a cruise ship or a sea ship. Here we have a spaceship. Then there's the rocket ship. They're all called ships because they're all going through the water. Notice that we cannot classify an airplane as a ship because it's not flying through the waters that's above us and it's not soaring through the waters that's level with us, correct? We classify them as airplanes because they are flying flat in our Earth's local atmosphere. You can float very easily in water, just like you can float very easily in space. You can practically swim in space. <laughs> Look at them. The same way you do in water. Astronauts even prepare in the water to go to space. There are even black holes in the ocean. 
They were actually called eddies, but they are very similar to the black holes we see in space. If something gets sucked into them, it's not getting out and we don't know where it goes. And this also looks similar to whirlpools. Literally just edit some stars on there and it looks the exact same. And who's to say that these USOs or mm. chariots of God aren't using these whirlpools and these black holes as portals to go to and from the heavens and the earth. And just like I showed you guys using that clip in the beginning of my video, who's to say that's not possible? You saw him go through the water, which took him through this tunnel or this portal or this black hole that took him all the way into space. And when he exited that portal, he went through water again. Who's to say that the black holes, the waters in the ocean, is not leading them to the waters that are found in the water reservoirs up in space that have way more water than the water found on our Earth. I mean, we truly don't know what's actually down there because as of 2024, we've only explored approximately 5% of our world's ocean. That's 95% we haven't even touched. And I'm sure you've heard the saying, as above, so below. You got waters above and waters below. That's just how the world works. But come back for part two if you want to go deeper. Man, that's definitely something to make you go, hmm. Now, let me know. Do you think that water has something to do with space? Or do you think space is underwater? And that's why they stop going, you know, underwater in the oceans like that, trying to do research and stuff. And they said they start going up. Let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section. It's definitely interesting. One of my favorite conspiracy theories is the idea that the government has been putting fluoride in our tap water, not for dental hygiene, uh, but as mind control to keep the populace kind of happy and contented. But if fluoride makes you happy, why the hell have I been spending all of my money on alcohol and drugs? You know, I could just be butt chugging tap water out here, getting the same effect. It's cheaper. I feel like this is the most easily disprovable conspiracy theory of all time. Because I drink a ton of water and I still cry myself to sleep every night. Well, this should be fun. What did tap water do to anyone? And unless you drink bottled water consistently or live out in the country with one of those old hand pumps, which in a long time I haven't seen, wouldn't we all be drinking tap water technically? Or do you drink out of a Brita filter maybe, but it would have had to come out of the tap, you see? Even out of the fridge would still be tap water technically, since it's the same source as the tap, actually. Tap water. Is this the newest conspiracy? Man, how many of y'all thought that was the, uh, the young Joe Rogan? I definitely was like, man, is that Joe Rogan or what? Man, he looked younger in that in that video. Why are there pesticides on food? People, and that's why they say it's good to have filters on your faucets or some type of filtration system because, man, there's so many things in the water, especially with these rotten or or. or corroded pipes that we use that been there for i don't know how long but too long and they need to be replaced you know maybe it's good to use pvc or some type of alternative other than metal why are there why are there traces of pharmaceutical drugs in, in our water in our water like why is that i oh, know it gets me going <laughs> because it's it's literally it's literally then forcing us back in line for those big pharmaceutical companies to then spend more money on prescription medication. It's like this big, we're, we're just another cog in the system if we continue to follow that. So hmm. it's crazy to realize how dangerous Dasani water is. If you look at the Dasani water, if you look on the bottle, like in the ingredients, there's, you, you know this, but there's, there's three ingredients that seem a little bit weird that it's on there. There's salt. Right? When you think of something salty, you don't think of water. When I think of something salty, I think I need water. Exactly. So why would there be salt in the water? I'm sure there's something behind it, but like that just seems kind of weird to me. Usually when I eat salty foods, the first thing I'm going to do is drink water. This is in a water bottle. You're literally drinking it. The second one is magnesium sulfate. Literally, it's supposed to be, it's called a drying agent, right? It dries your mouth out. So why would that be in like a water bottle? Well, it's the total opposite of what you think, because like usually when I have like a dry mouth, 
than like when everyone at home probably has a dry mouth. You drink water. You yeah. don't expect the water to give you a dry mouth. I, I just don't understand why that's in there. Well, what's scary is the third ingredient. Okay, so the third ingredient, right? Potassium chloride. And if you guys don't know, potassium chloride is the last thing they inject in people in death row. So it's used to kill people. Why put something in the water that we're consuming? That could actually hurt us. You probably know why the the caps on the water bottles are different colors, right? The caps on the what? What do you mean caps? So like the the caps, like the color of the caps on every single water bottle. Are they just clear? Means something? No, no, no. There's like green, blue, I swear red. Clear? What? No. But every time I open a water, I swear it's clear. No, like the cap, fam. Hold on, look, look. I'll the top you. of the cap is is like white plastic, no? No, oh, bro. What the fuck am I tripping? Am I a Mandela effect right now? <laughs> So look, you know, see on these, how some are green at the top, the caps, oh. some are blue, some are white. Like, you, yeah, it's clear oh, okay, white. I see now, yeah, I see now. So, You're right, yeah, you're right, yeah. actually. So the white means it's processed water. So that's like, that's like the, the ne Nestle, all, all that stuff. Blue is for spring water. What has that? Aquafina. No, that's cap. Because Dasani's blue. Yeah, Dasani is spring water, fam. What the f***? No, this that's tap water. No, no, this honey is not tap water. It's tap, it's that's purified why it has, water. That, that's, why it has, that's why it has the taste, fam. This, have you ever drank one with the green? Because that one, the green that's means like it's flavored. Shit. Yeah. So do you know, even in water, you know, why would they put all that stuff in the water? Especially stuff like potassium chloride, man. That is crazy, man. And the other one was uh, the one agent that makes your mouth be dry. Or dry his mouth out. Maybe it's to make you drink more water, more and more, more of it, more of it, so you never get hydrated and you drink more of it, more of it. And also because it's poisonous, you know. The chloride, I don't want to drink nothing with chloride in it, man. That's that's obviously, you know, that's obviously bad for you. And uh, I'm like I say, I'm here to pitch on game and educate you a little bit so you. Well, no, you know what I'm saying? What to drink and what not to drink. And uh, if you're drinking it, what's all in it, man? Because, uh, y'all, this is very important. We all think water is very good for you. And we're drinking it to hydrate ourselves and thinking it's healthy and cleanses us. But at the same time, it's poisonous and, uh, you know, drying us up. Is rich people water? Really, is it? Yeah, you heard that right. This may not be true, but there is a theory that say wealthy people are trying to monopolize the Evian water, which is really expensive, almost as expensive as Fuji water and all the other expensive water brands because it's exceptionally beneficial. It's packed with natural electrolytes. It's literally sourced from mountain springs, right? It's also naturally alkaline. Now, this is considered the healthiest water. When they tested other waters like spring water and various other brands, right, they discovered that those aren't necessarily as beneficial. But Evian water is one of the few that truly is good for you. Okay. Yeah, now the theory goes that rich people made it that expensive so that they have their water supply. And when they go to the store, they know that all these poor people aren't going to buy it. But, you know, let's just keep it this high so that we can buy it whenever we're in town, right? Now, what do you think Evian spells backwards? Naive, which is intriguing, right? It might have been intentional. Rich people water. Man, they obviously not drinking the same Evian or Avion that we are drinking. Because uh, that water is not expensive at all. Not in my opinion, maybe to others. But, man, it's crazy. It's obviously, they obviously drinking out some glass bottles of Avion or something, man. Gotta be. What else have you been wrong about? Drinking lots of water was good for you. And I now, having researched it for the book, know there's no hard data that you should be drinking eight um, glasses of water, for example, a day, which is what most of the um, recommended government sites tell you. And obviously, the drinks industry is very keen to support that because, you know, the big companies that the Cokes, the Pepsis have moved into the water business and they're trying to sell everyone plastic bottled water, which is terrible for the planet. The idea that uh, we're all deprived of hydration and having all kinds of problems with it is, is really made up. There's no hard evidence at all. And if you look at um, doctors who work on marathons, they see that far more people die or have health problems from overhydrating in uh, the marathon race than, than 
dehydrating. So the human body is really good at some things. You know, you think about our ancestors. They kind of knew when you were thirsty, right? It's like, hang on, this is quite a, you know, and the idea that, oh, we've got no idea if we're thirsty or not. Um, we need to be eating, you know, have a stopwatch to tell us to drink every hour on the hour. It's obviously nonsense when you think about it. Bro, something gotta be wrong with these waters, bro. Cause them shits used to never be three for twelve dollars, bro. At all. You can get three whole packs for twelve dollars? What did they do to the water, bro? What's going on? At a time where all the food prices went up, why is it a deal on water? What did they do to the water? And that's even more of a reason to hydrate yourself with the fruits that we need to eat. And I mean, organic fruits and not GMO fruits. If you know, you know, man, because they're trying to take all the seeds out of everything now. And they're trying to use, make us use GMO seeds, including in farming, y'all. So y'all pay attention to what's really going on and not just the Diddy situations in the uh, Young Dolph trial and all the other BS, you know, like I say, they all distractions, man. Lack of perception breeds deception. Don't fall for the boo-boo, man. Things they don't tell you, part 30. If you drink a lot of tonic water, you can actually have dangerously low platelets that could cause bruising and in worst case scenarios, brain bleeds. Something called quinines is added to the tonic water, meaning that's the ingredient that causes the platelets to be so low, which then leads to the bleeding. Sparkling water, on the other hand, is just carbonated and does not cause this. What does this and this have in common? Well, what if I told you they were owned by the same company? Yeah, these two competitors here, they're owned by the same team. That team, it's also known as Nestle. And sorry, Aquapana fans, you're in there too. You see, most of the products you consume are only owned by a few companies, such as this one that tastes absolutely horrible, owned by Coca-Cola. But that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that it's collected from a local water supply whatever that means. Oh, and look at that, Aquafina comes from public water sources too, through a rigorous purification process. So why are they having to remove so many things? What if there was just a small chance that it was tap water? See, if you're anything like me, I don't trust companies that are profit over people. So I recommend always doing research on your products and follow the money, as well as me. Oh. Don't drink cold water. If you drink cold water every day, you don't even know how you died. What happens to your body? You slow down the digestive process. Cold water slows down digestion. Coagulate dietary fats. This can make it harder for your digestive system to break them down. You could be at risk for a throat infection. Drink cold water. Causes mucus to build up in the airways. Make your respiratory system more likely to suffer from sore throats and infections. You experience heat shock. If you drink cold water immediately after exercise, it can cause heat shock to your body. This is with you already. The body overheated from exercise contradicts. You get hormonal imbalances. Body temperature is regulated by hormones. Drinking cold water can cause hormonal imbalances. This can lead to mood or digestive disorders. You'll absorb fewer nutrients. Cold water tends to constrict blood vessels that could be reduced nutrient absorption in the digestive system. If you want to get more health tips, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Say what? No cold water? Don't drink no cold water? Oh man. Shoot, I know it's gonna be a lot of people out here that's gonna be like, man, that can't be true. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Honestly, that's why I drink room temperature water. I don't believe in drinking ice cold water, man. I may drink ice cold soda or something like that whenever I eat, but mainly, most of the time, I drink not lukewarm, but room temperature water. Man, I'm telling you, if you don't know, now you know, man. If you drink a glass of hot water on an empty stomach every morning, this is what happens to your body. There are three reasons you should start drinking warm water on an empty stomach. Number one, it will improve your digestion. The theory is warm water will help you dissolve food that you normally have a hard time digesting. There is also research that warm water can help constipation. Number two, warm water can temporarily boost your body's metabolism. This is because your body will work to bring the warm water to your body's temperature. This slight increase in metabolism 
metabolic rate and aid when you're trying to burn calories. And lastly, it will improve circulation and blood flow. This is because drinking warm water will dilate your blood vessels. It is important to note to make sure the water is not too hot to avoid a potential burn. Game. This is a warning for people who drink lemon water every single day. I'm not going to tell you not to drink it, but I'm going to tell you how to drink it. Hi, I'm Dr. Ellie and I'm here to help you avoid unnecessary dental treatments. If you're drinking lemon water and you are not taking some xylitol immediately afterwards, you're going to be in big trouble down the line. Nothing impacts your teeth more negatively than citrus. And this is because citrus causes chelation to occur in your saliva, in your mouth. Chelation is a kind of clumping. I don't know if you've ever put lemon juice into milk and you've seen all the proteins clump together, kind of curdling. And this occurs in your mouth when you eat citrus. And the result is that minerals have to replace those clumped chelated minerals and the minerals will come out of your teeth. They will literally, the minerals in your teeth will be pulled almost like a vacuum out of your teeth, leaving this void, leaving this weakness, leaving the, your teeth vulnerable to cavities and breakage and cracks. What you have to do is put those minerals back. How do you do that? The way to do that is to have good healthy saliva come back into your mouth after the, 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 the citrus episode has disappeared. So drink your citrus drink, drink your lemon drink, but after drinking it, have a little xylitol, ideally a mint, a Zelly's mint, which will stimulate a flow of new saliva into your mouth that will replenish, be full of minerals, and so it can replenish those minerals that were just lost. Don't put the xylitol into your lemon drink. It won't work. It won't change anything. You have to have this when you've finished your drink. Simply have something like a Zelly Mint straight afterwards because you'll stimulate that healing saliva. Hey, this man, is why I started trying to pitch your own game. Remember, it's free. All you gotta do is hit that like button. If you enjoy the content, subscribe. Much appreciated. I'm pretty sure you'll appreciate it too in the future. To drink hot water after living in China. Let me start with first, when I was in New York living at home, my mom would put water, like just cold water in the fridge. So when I got over to China, I was so shocked when people were drinking hot water. I was like, <laughs> are you gonna put anything in that water? It's like, nope, we're just gonna give it to you hot. So for a while, I declined the hot water. But then over time, I actually started to drink the hot water to the point where I only drink hot water now. It's funny because my coworkers will see me drinking hot water and they're like, Christina, why do you not have anything in that water? And it's because I've lived in China. I know what it's like to just drink hot water. So I've learned that hot water is really good for digestion. It's also, I think there's some traditional Chinese medicine in there because if you drink hot water, it's supposed to warm your body. And they think drinking cold water can disrupt your balance. Y'all can help me out in the comments. Like, is that true? But I know it just, it feels good to drink hot water. But it's expanded for me though, because what I learned in China is that it's not just hot water, but it's also drinking tea. And ever since China, I've been drinking tea three times a day. I drink jiang cha, so I drink ginger tea every day. A lot of people in China though, they drink green tea. There's also hong cha, which is black tea. And I also, I got hip to the puer cha game, which I learned in Yunnan. This could honestly be its own video on like tea culture in China, but I've been to tea fields in Hangzhou. I went to some tea fields down in Yunnan and I actually made my own tea. So I think just that little ritual of like making my own tea plus drinking the hot water, I just felt I couldn't go back to basic water. Anyway, so I'm converted. I do drink hot water. Do you guys drink hot water? Why? What do you put in your hot water? Like, let me know. What's the now that's something to uh, go by y'all especially drinking that ginger tea man anything with ginger especially if it's organic it's definitely good for you because ginger does a lot and has a lot of beneficial health benefit a lot of health benefits i mean y'all know what i mean i got a little tongue twisted up right there but uh y'all get what i'm saying man it's very good for your body man and your uh, and your whole system you know what i'm saying wow i didn't realize people could get addicted to that water 
I had a very lovely patient who had a severe alcohol addiction, and she got into recovery from her alcohol addiction, but she kind of had a sort of urge to be drinking something, so she drank a lot of water, and slowly over time, she realized that if she drank enough water, she could become hyponatremic and delirious. Could die from it. Right, which is, she just wanted to be out of her own head, so she would periodically, intentionally overdose on water, to so sad. What happened to her? She eventually took her own life. Wow. Yeah, it's really... That's right. Now that's why. Addicted to Wawa? Agua? Or water? I guess, man, I guess I can see it because if you own your health, you know what I'm saying? Your health journey, a lot of people, if you don't know nothing about water, like we, we are learning in this video, you will drink a lot of water, you know what I'm saying? Because there's some people out there that, you know, don't drink juice or trying to get off soda. And some would say that, well, just drink water. And you'll drink water, 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 water. And eventually, you know, I guess you'll find out stuff like this. You'll be addicted to water and it might be hurting you more than it's helping you. Well, y'all, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed being your host this evening. And like I say, if you enjoy the content and you want to see more content just like this, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy in content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and hit make it for all so you'll be notified whenever I drop any content that you definitely don't want to miss. I'm telling you in the future, it's your main man, Money Back Cool. I'm out. Holla. Take it easy. Beats.